So Hugh has a question. And if you've seen Glass Onion, no, uh, Knives Out, everyone's saying Hugh with me. Uh, what's the difference between the side press, bent press, windmill, kettlebell military press? Um, he says this, I understand this. The side press is a military press with the windmill stretch. Bent press is lifted with the lats. Uh, yeah, well, it's stable. Uh, kettlebell military press uh, lifting with the arm and shoulder. Well, it's really hard to do this talking. And I'm sure the people who are just listening and watching are going, how's he going to do this? The side press, the side press is a little bit farther out than the standard kettlebell press. So let's start with the standard kettlebell military press. We start here. There's a bit of a J angle. You go to vertical. Bicep is on the ear, and then you pull it down like you're doing a one-arm pull-up. If you've done correctly, I like the strictness of it. Um, we talked earlier in this podcast about the seesaw press, which I think is a natural way to teach the kettlebell press. The side press tends to be a little bit farther out. I think I think a barbell is a better thing to learn the side press with because you have to kind of balance it on your shoulder here and you hold the mid that some older barbells still had knurling on the midline. Uh, since nobody does one-handed lifts anymore, you're not going to find a quality barbell with <laughs> knurling on the midline. But you, you hang, you, you handle it here, you, you squeeze the lat down, but you still actively push. Now, the bent press is an exercise that I take a lot of time at the RKC2 teaching. What you do is you rest the load on your lat, like you say, with the forearm perpendicular. So it's it's vertical, it's going towards the ceiling. And what you do is you, you push your body away from the bell, the bar, or whatever you're holding. So you don't lift it, you move away from it. You don't lift it, you move away from it. And it's a, a, a specific learning thing. Now on the windmill, which on, uh, it's funny, I, there's two on that list that I really like a lot. That's the military press and the windmill family. The, the windmill, and this is, this, I, this bothers me when people forget this. The windmill starts off with an appropriate hinge and then you want to turn your, you want to turn your spinal cord. I always tell, I always tell the candidates like it's a plane, a fighter jet rolling over in the sky. You you want to just take your time that every disc turns just a little bit. So by the time you get through all of them, you have that big turn in the spinal column. Um, and then what I say is to come out of it, I say unwind and unhinge. First a hinge, then the wind. Uh, I think I talk about it in one of my YouTubes. Uh, look up windmill stick, and I think I think you'll get the bulk of it in that one. Okay. Um, one of the problems I could see is that if I'm looking at certain books in the Dragon Door publication Empire, certain years, what looks like in from the pictures, some of the pictures, uh, if you didn't tell me what the exercise was, you just showed me one picture, I wouldn't know if it was a side press, bent press, or whatever, but the way we teach things now is, I think, a lot clearer in some ways. And so, so when it comes to the windmill and the bent press, it's hinge. You can do a squatting style of the bent press, but let's not worry about it right now. Hinge, wind, and then in the windmill, you sort of hold it there with the straight arm. And in the bent press, you get in the position and then you sink your body away from the bell. Uh, the ones I would recommend on your list, windmill and militaries. Thank you.